Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. Today we got Hung Fat Choi and Rolf with us. Say hi guys. Hello. What's up? I am not happy because Camtasia lost my recording. So I have to do all this again. Including a lot of these really annoying things, which required a lot of save states. Oh yeah. Alright, so we got this game we can play, which will be on the house this first time. Basically, it's a game of avoid the bombs. He's gonna throw bombs at us, and we either gotta dodge or throw them away before we die. And what I find is kind of helpful is having the feather for this. So yeah, we get the key if we beat this game. So, just jump around a lot and you'll be fine. Jump away from where the bombs are going! It gets pretty hectic. Yeah, you think this is easy right now? Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> and, yay, I did it. So yeah, jump around a lot and you're almost guaranteed... Well, I wouldn't say you're almost guaranteed, but it works a lot better than trying to just do it otherwise. The feather works out tremendously. And as far as I know, there's no other prizes from that. I really don't care to check and see. Alright, so now I am going... Oh, right, I can't go back in time from here. But there's something else I want to do now that I have the lava juice. I want to go over here. I do have the lava juice, right? Yes, I have the lava juice. Good. I want to go back in time. And I want to talk to a particular, um... Goron, who is friends with someone else. I don't know why it does that. Hmm. Ugh. Oh great, I accidentally destroyed the seed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that back over there so I won't have to worry about it later. Just in case, I do need to go back there. And of course it's right outside my range. Okay, so now that that's paid for. Talk to this guy when you have the lava juice, and... You also need the key, I think, so... That considered, we'll need the key here. So, note that we're gonna have two keys by the end of this. Yes, you can have your lava juice. So as I was saying, no, we're gonna have two keys. That's because this is this is actually gonna be very annoying. This is a dungeon we are gonna have to go back and forth between in the past and the future. And it makes me ha unhappy that that's the case. So let me think here of what I need. <coughs> so so, what be your favorite dungeon? From uh, what? Legend Zelda. Oh, um... Overall, I'd have to say maybe the Arbiter's Grounds from Twilight Princess. Because I kind of really like some of the puzzles that had to do with the, uh... Gear item. I forget what it's called. Something. I've... That's what it's called. Yeah, it's, it's some item. I, I, I just really like the battle. I really like the whole dungeon as a whole, overall. The spinner, that's what it's called, the spinner. Oh, uh, yeah, the spinner. I don't know, that was just a really cool item in my opinion. I think the boss fight was kind of interesting too, although it was, I wouldn't say random, but it was kind of difficult to get the boss to always take damage like you wanted him to. I don't know. What was the boss again? Uh, some giant skeleton dude who you had to hit his invertebrae in order to attack him. And the problem is, I don't think you were able to uh, oh, otherwise 
And you couldn't attack him in the sand because it was like quicksand or something and you would lose yeah. health. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Okay. So yeah, this is the mermaid's cave and I need to get out of here because there's fire. Now... You should get the keys. Yeah. So, note that there are a bunch of monsters here, which I can't really do anything about. Get out of my way, monsters. And over here is a dead end. I just wanted to show that it was a dead end. Why not? And nothing else, where el nowhere else we can go in this location. So now we gotta go up. Where's that other wizard gonna appear? He's gonna appear down here. He backed it. Oh, where do you think you're going, Mr. Snake? Okay, go over here. There's a bunch of pots. Some bombable walls. And some rocks, so let's get rid of the rocks. Open the chest for the dungeon map. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know, honestly, I played a bunch of the Legend of Zelda games. Honestly, the problem is I don't remember too many of them. If I had to remember any one, I, I would actually have to say maybe one of the ones out of Minish Cap now I think about it. Well, I think, wasn't there this one fight in Minish Cap where, uh, wait, that's not what I want. Uh, there was like this one battle in Minish Cap, Cap where you like had to not only knock down the boss, but you actually got to uh, walk around inside his head or something to actually attack him. You had to be like a oh, mini. Really? <laughs> Yeah, okay, I forget the exact boss, but somewhere in Minish Cap, there was a point where there was a boss, uh, no, not the Chew, not the Chew, uh, it was the boss which, okay, I'm gonna have to stop here for the think. it was the boss where you had, it was like a Goma clone or something, you had to fight him, take out his hands, and then crawl inside his head, you, there were like places where you could shrink down into your Minish size, and maybe, yeah, and you had to like, set him on fire something, I forget exactly what it was. But yeah, uh, all the owl here says is that, um, use a scent seed to lure the beast, then you can get this chest which has a key in it. Yeah, the Fortress of Wind was the Gyrox. Honestly, I think they were the only boss in the game who actually managed to kill me. Uh, conditionally, or, well, no. Yeah, I think the Gyrook pair was the only one who actually managed to kill me in the game without some stupid twist. Um. Now, why'd I do that? Uh, yes, you can play the GameCube games on the Wii. Okay, I'm definitely getting one bigger. <laughs> I gotta replay that. I just been one. Alright, nothing on the other side, so. Let's just go down here. Oh. Yeah, I love when my. Pretty much my own son's favorite. Uh, yeah, I don't know why people are gay. Yeah. Oh, come on! Urgh. Get out of my way, stupid rock. Oh, great, now I need the bombs again. Stupid bats, sir. Okay, so here we have a bit of a fun puzzle. There is a block in the middle of the room here. There are three panels. We need to match the panel with the block of the right color. 
and try not to fall down a pit while I'm at it. <laughs> he did that last time. And again, what is with my affinity for pits? Okay, this does not solve my problem at all. I'm just being stupid about this. <laughs> Try rotating it. That would help, genius. Two rounds, and that should help. Okay. That's two. Now I need to get this to match up. I don't understand how there's only three colors, but it's a cube. It's like the, uh, opposite sides of the cube are the same color. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. No retired. Alright, so... <laughs> that is actually all we can do in the dungeon yeah, here I in the actually... present. So, now I'm just gonna quick jump out of the dungeon and get back to the entrance. To confirm that's all I can do, look at the map, and you'll kinda see there's nothing else I can do here, really. So, now I need to go talk to the... Goron. Or first I can go confront Maple. Confront. Yes, that's great. She's gonna con me out of all my stuff. Just like you when you say equipped it. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a potion this time. Well, that's fine. I had a potion anyway. Yeah, but you could have had two potions. Big deal. You got seeds. Big deal. I got bombs. I'll blow you up. How do you like that? Ugh. I'm trying to think now, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go this way. Gotta go back to Gentleman Goron. Yeah, because now I got more than 20 rupees, which I need in order to, uh, proceed. Ugh. Because, uh, we give him the introduction that one guy gave, and I completely skimmed over. And he'll be willing to give us the, uh, mermaid key, but he wants us to dance for it. And oddly enough, he also wants us to pay in order to try. So apparently he has that little We're trust in us. So, yeah, we gotta do this game again. Uh, two, one, two, three. Safe state abuse. Dun 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 Too early. Screw that. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. It's not that hard, it's just the emulator slowing down in between safe states screws me over. And I, that time, I just simply forgot what it was. 